Hi there, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I am really excited that you're here with me today to take a look at my Valentine's decor for 2021. It's hard to believe we've finally made it through 2020 and we're to 2021, yay. And I normally don't do Valentine's decor and recently I have decided I want to be one of those old ladies who decorates her house seasonally. My mother-in-law did it for years. She had a closet where she had all kinds of decor for each season, including like St. Patrick's Day. And I refuse to do St. Patty's Day just because it reminds me of drinking beer. And I haven't drank in 20 some years, I think exactly 20 years. And I don't want my St. Patty's Day green decor that would remind me of drinking and I don't wanna go there. But this is what I'm drinking now and it's in a messy cup. It is my fall pumpkin spice Starbucks coffee. It's the Keurig and I absolutely love it. And this is my favorite cup, the I Am Enough cup, because I always want to be reminded that although all of us have goals and on a daily basis, we should be trying to make ourselves better, that we shouldn't be perfectionists and that we are all enough just how God created us to be. Okay, let me go ahead and tell you real quick about my Valentine's decor. And I wanted to get this aired because this year I just bought it all. And so the links below will be to all of the decor pieces and almost all of them came from Kirkland's. And I'd never looked for Valentine's Day decor before and I was really surprised, but Hobby Lobby hardly has anything. At Home Store had just a tiny bit. Basically the only place where I saw it in mass was Kirkland's and they had a 20% off coupon. So I got everything 20% off. And I think all of it, including the wreath on the door, was maybe $150, so it was not bad at all. And you just have to do that for one year, so I'm really excited about that. Now, if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things anti-aging, plus houses, decor, anything extra that kind of comes into my head, because I do love houses, and quite honestly, one of the reasons that I am now doing the seasonal decor is because for a change, my husband Alan and I have lived in the same house for 11 years. And that may not sound like a big feat to some of you, but my husband and I in the first, I don't know, 27 years of our marriage, something like that, 25 years, we lived in like 12 or 13 houses. Basically what we did is when we first got married, we both had minimum wage jobs. I had been a theater major and I was doing a kid's TV show. My husband had graduated college with his TV, film and communications degree. And unfortunately, those are both kind of glamour degrees that pay you nothing because everybody will do what you're doing for free. So anyway, we made about minimum wage each when we got married 37 years ago now, I think. And so what we did to be able to afford a home is we bought our first home just before we got married and it was a very inexpensive home in not that nice of a neighborhood, but we fixed it up and kind of decorated it. And then in a year we sold it, made a little money, bought a little nicer home and we kept doing that. And eventually we ended up getting a paid off home, which is wonderful. And basically I think I was a little bit addicted to decorating houses because it was so much fun every year or two to be able to buy new decor, new wallpaper, new paint. Wallpaper was a big deal back there when we were first married. But anyway, now I have been in the same house for 11 years and we don't plan to move anytime at all in the near future, probably never until they drag us out of this house. It is a little bigger than what we need because the kids are no longer living at home, our two boys, but it is home and we're used to it and we've gotten it just the way we want it, so we're going to be staying. But for that reason, I'd like to spice it up with a little seasonal decor. And now I have rambled on long enough, so let me take you to the front door and I'll show you my Valentine's decor. Okay, this is the outside of my house. And up until about a week ago or two weeks ago, we had Christmas decor out here, but now we've got a little Valentine's. And I will say, I did not go crazy on the Valentine's decor outside. And in fact, I just spent $24 on that wreath at the at-home store. It was one of the few things they had, and it is not specifically Valentine's. I had seen a gorgeous wreath on Etsy, but it was like $100, and it was just for Valentine's Day. And so I didn't want to spend that kind of money. And I thought for $24, that was nice, and I could just keep it to be my Easter wreath, maybe add a little something on there to make it look like Easter. And I think the wreath goes well with the blue rug and the blue pots that I have out here. Just looks kind of normal. Not super Valentine's, but it gives the general feel of pink. Okay, this is my living room. 
And I did not over decorate. I just wanted to get a good feel for a little bit of red, a little bit of Valentine's Day. I'll pan around the room for you. There's a little something right there and right there. And there's a pillow there. And maybe I'll start in the dining room. Oh, there's the kitchen through there. A little more red there. And I will say with my gray beige walls and white trim, I do like how the red looks. Okay, we will start at the front door. There's my front door. It's kind of oversized there. Then we have this little dog and I have this tendency to put ribbons on him. I had Christmas ribbon on him during Christmas. And I just went to Walmart and they had a little Ofre ribbon and I put the ribbon on this dog. It was like 347 for the wide ribbon there. And then I used the other part of that particular bolt of ribbon for this. And this is something that is always here, but I did put the red ribbon on there. And there's a little hugs thing. And I'm not sure where I got that actually. Oh, I think that may, may have been the out home store. I'm not totally sure. I'll put it down below if I can figure that out. Well, and this is the dining room area and I'll step back and let you see how it looks from here. And it just kind of takes that red, gives it a few little red accents. And on the buffet, I have put ribbons on the lamps. And those are the smaller version of the ribbon. That Ofre ribbon came in two widths, the wider for the dog there. That the dog has the wider ribbon. And then the narrower ribbon I used on the lamps. And one bolt of 247 ribbon, Ofre ribbon, did both of those lamps and then I just have the little hugs and kisses signs and those are wooden and I got them from Kirkland's yes they were from Kirkland's very inexpensive maybe five dollars a piece something like that and here are pictures of my kids and I'm not happy with the middle picture because my husband I just put it in there and my husband said why do you have them posed in front of the refrigerator? <laughs> That's not very picturesque, which is true, but we are going skiing in February. And so hopefully I'll get a picture of all three of them in February, which will be great. And here is a look at the table. And for Christmas, I put bows around the chairs, but I don't do that here. I want my Valentine's decor just to add a little bit of color and make you happy by thinking about Valentine's Day, but not be a ton of work. So this is pretty easy. And I just used these red straw chargers, and I had those from long ago. And these, these little hearts here, the pink and the red hearts, they're little spangly hearts, and I got those from Dollar Tree. And they were a dollar for all of those, in fact, more than that. So that just gives a little flavor of red to the dining room. Okay, and again, there is that little niche, adding just a little red. And I got this sign at Kirkland's, it was very, very reasonable, maybe under $14, but it is just a nice wood sign. You could put it by your fireplace if you have a fireplace, just anywhere you need a little bit of height. And I really loved this pillow, and I got that from Kirkland's as well. Kirkland's tends to have wonderful pillows just in general, but this has a little bit of fuzziness to it, and I love the black and white polka dots. I just think it gives it kind of a modern touch and really brings that color. There's a look again at the living room. Just a few little touches of Valentine's Day, not a whole lot, not overdone at all, just easy. And this is my kitchen, and I guess I'll let you see what the kitchen looks like. It's the kitchen family room area, and there is that. It's not Valentine's, but I really do like that. But there's the kitchen, and here is the kitchen table. And again, I just took the old chargers, the old straw chargers that were red, and I had these left over from some Christmas. And these are just little napkin rings. They used to be bronze color, but I spray painted them black to look a little better, a little more up to date. So that's how the table looks. A Little bit valentines -y there. Then here is the little seating area. And we spend so much time here. Whenever the family comes over, we're always here. And basically we have another pillow from Kirkland's that says love, and I just think that is darling. And then that, I needed a red throw, and then I remembered I had one from Christmas, so I just kept that from Christmas. And then I like this, and this is from Kirkland's, and I think it was under $12, but it's just a little set of flags there. And I didn't realize this when I saw it in the catalog, but this is actually two strands. It's just got a little burlap rope there. I'll step back so you can see that. I just think that's darling just to add a little bit of color there. 
And then, looking back this way, I just have a little bit of Valentine's. This is a Be Mine sign that was from Kirkland's, and that is an automatic candle. It's not real, but I think that's really pretty. It's just a little bit of spangly there, and it was very inexpensive. And this was also Kirkland's, Love You More. And I absolutely love that phrase, and I just think that sign is super cute. And then, right here, this is not part of the decor, but I did go to Dollar Tree. I have an absolutely darling niece named Monroe, who is four years old, and uh, I went to Dollar Tree and got her made up a little basket here. These are little necklaces, and they were a dollar. And then little crew socks in her size. Aren't those darling? And they were a dollar, which is great. This little bear in here was a dollar, and each of these little head pieces was also a dollar, and then they had some chocolate here in various little animals. That's a little owl, and it's Palmer's candy, so it's just what you would find in like a Walmart or something like that. Nothing wrong with that. And then I got two of the table scatters, thinking I would need more than I did, and I did not need the other one. In fact, I didn't even use the whole one on that dining room table, so I'm just going to go ahead and give this to Monroe because she likes these kind of spangly little things. Now I'll show you the bathroom, but there's not much going on in there. Just a little love sign and a little towel there. Well, that is a look at my little touch of Valentine's decor. And I hope you and your family are going to have a wonderful Valentine's Day. And let's all try to bring love into this new year. I think it's something we've been sorely missing recently. And it's time to bring it back and hopefully put 2020 well behind us. Take care, and I'll see you in my next video.